Okay, since the top bar is done, in my layers panel, I'm going to put a lock on that layer, and I'm going to minimize it. And the next layer I want to work on is, well, you can really do whichever you want, but I'm going to go with lines. I'm going to make all of these colored lines next, and I'm going to make sure I'm working on the right layer. So on this layer, layer 6, I'm going to call it Muni Lines. Okay, and with this layer selected, everything I create with this layer selected will go in that layer. Illustrator layers are almost like folders. Uh, they can have many, many sub-layers, whereas a Photoshop layer is usually just one layer. Okay, so I want to make sure these lines are completely parallel to each other. So I'm going to do that by getting the line segment tool over here. And I'm going to choose a color first. I'm going to say no fill. And the color, I'll start off with this blue which looks pretty close to the color blue for the end Judah line. And what I want to do is zoom in a lot. Very important. Really want to zoom in on this sucker. Holding shift, I'm going to click here where the slanted line begins. And if I don't hold shift, it'll look like this. But holding shift will keep it at a 45 degree angle. And now the stroke isn't thick enough, so I'm going to go climb up here to where it says stroke. I'm going to use my arrows until it becomes a good thickness. So I'm going with 10 point, but really it's dependent on what your document size is. For me, 10 point seems to work. Cool. Now I could keep going by making more lines and holding shift, or I could just duplicate it. Uh, I think it might be easier just to make more lines. So I'm going to zoom out so I can see all of this purple line. And starting here in the center of the line, I'm going to click and drag and hold shift until I get to about here, and I'm going to let go. And now I'm going to change the color over here to purple. And I'm good to go. It actually looks more like this purple. Cool. Okay, so I use the same technique to create all the other diagonal lines. And now using the pen tool, I can simply click on the anchor point on an endpoint for one of these lines. And using smart guides, I can keep going with these lines to complete them. So I can do that with the T line first. Anytime you want to get off the pen tool and deselect, I can just hold command and click off. So now I can snap onto this anchor point and using smart guides to make sure all my lines are straight. Come in here and just start completing all of these muni lines. I don't know why the smart guide isn't working. Maybe I need to zoom in more. I'm going to make sure I get that vertical smart guide. Ah. Why isn't my smart guide working? Smart guide's on. Okay, now I can latch on to this anchor point. And I want to trust the smart guide, even if, uh, even if it doesn't seem like it's completely accurate in tracing the line, I'm going to go with what the smart guide tells me. So that means it's straight. Okay, now I'll latch on. Oh, I didn't do the J line. So I'll hop over here real quick and create a J line. Holding shift. It's a little bit off. That looks better. I'm going to change the color to be this orange. And using the pen tool again, complete the line. Right there. Cool. And any time I can click on the eyeball for the map image right here to see what I've done so far. And that's all I've got. I can also use Command Y to view the outlines. So I want to keep going now. Oops. I want to deselect, hold Command, deselect, and then pop back onto this line. 
finish it off. Hold Command, deselect, hop onto this line, and my smart guides keep everything really nice and clean. And now my lines are basically done.